Sure. So I think that the issues that I've identified or come across, they tend to ha um, fall into two categories. One is within the community and one is without the community. So some examples of uh, struggles within the community are struggles that most people have, right? So marital issues, uh, anxiety, um, existential crisis, um, neuroticism, OCD. Uh, humans have a number of ways in which they try to reconcile their struggles and alleviate their pain. And so this is common amongst the Muslim community like everybody else. Uh, of course, there is more of a religious or cultural slant because uh, the community is very diverse and come from a wide range of worldviews and ethos. Uh, and then there's issues without the community. Uh, obviously, being Muslim in the United States today is, is not a very easy task. And so there are other types of confrontations that occur that are unique to the Muslim community, such as Islamophobia, or let's say even the strong movement in um, atheism and science, which uh, is quite compelling for some people and makes them question their own faith. So I, I find myself, you know, definitely serving a range of, you know, um, issues and trying to help people no matter where they're at and no matter with what they're studying, uh, excuse me, no matter where they're at and no matter uh, what challenge they happen to be facing.